Welcome to the second episode of the multimeter tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn more advanced features which we operate on daily basis. In this video, we are going to learn about the selector switch and the different mode that it allows us to use so this selector switch if you can see we can rotate it clockwise it will give some value on the screen and whichever mode we want to go we just have to take that this part towards the mode so we want to switch it off immediately after used in order to save the battery just bring it back to the off mode so this selector switch allows us to change between the different operating modes of the meter depending upon the specific task that we wish to perform. Now you carefully look at the symbols. Now when you carefully look at the symbols around the selector switch around this dial, this indicates the function of the meter. As the bottom we have ports if you see one, two, three, now this port is in red color, this port is also in red color and this common port is in black color. So at these ports where we connect our test leads or we call them as test probes, depending upon the mode we have selected, we connect the probes at these different ports. So I will teach you exactly where to connect the probes to test for each mode while carrying out our specific task. So let's bring the probes in the screen and then we will learn further. Now this is a set of probes which are also known as test leads which are with the multimeter set. If you can see one is of black color one is of red color these are the ends of the probes one is red color and one is in black color so these probes allows us to connect with the multimeter electronically electrically we can connect these probes with the multimeter and the circuit on which we wish to perform the task at different points to take the readings that we need so probes they usually come in two different categories two main types number one probes that allows us to hold the probes on the terminals which you are seeing on your screen right now if you see these probes allows us to hold the terminal or the other electrical conductors the number two probes are the clips which are used to connect the disconnected wires or earth points you can see on the screen as well now always remember whenever you wish to connect the probes there are a few safety or the physical checks or inspections which we need to do before you do the test so in the inspection part always check the leads for any physical damage for the isolation if there is any physical damage to the isolation always check carefully so our probes are brand new so these are very good to use Always confirm that the equipment is calibrated by the equipment. I mean your multimeter is calibrated. The label is under the protection casing. See this right here. It is written calibration. Now what types of lead we are using. Also make sure the types of lead that you will be using to perform the specific task. Either you use this type or you are going to use the clip on types. So depending upon that, you have different different functions. So let's wrap up the lead and go to the multimeter. Now you see in this multimeter, the selector switch has the most commonly used, which is off mode. Whenever you don't want to use the multimeter, bring it to the off mode. And in the first mode we are going to learn about is this voltage. This is the AC voltage you can see the wavy line on the top of the V which shows us it is a alternating voltage AC voltage so you see this symbol on the mode selector V stands for voltage the wavy line above V means AC voltage or the alternating current voltage 
Now meaning of this wavy line is basically this is the sine wave of AC current would look like on a scope if you check it on the scope or if you draw the graph between the voltage and the time the graph will come something like this so that is the reason for this wavy line and next part is the voltage you see what is a voltage why we need to check the voltage basically it is the potential difference of the energy between the two conductors if the conductors are connected we will form a circuit and because of this the current will flow now example in the three phase it varies from 380 to 440 volts now this voltage are found in supply type applications such as contactors on board your cabin lighting your heaters or power supplies so now the probes in order to check the voltage the selector switch has to be brought to this mode this specific mode and the probes are to be connected in order and in order to connect the probes the black probe should come always to the common the black probe will come to the common the red probe you can see on the screen if carefully there's a symbol v v for stands for voltage so you connect this red probe to the red side now once you have connected to the red side to this one black to the common side and these two terminals of the end of the probes you connect to the supply now red one should always come to the positive black one should always come to the negative side you will get your voltage your ac voltage on the display this is how you get the voltage ac voltage if you can just clearly check it is written v and underneath it is written ac so that means we are checking ac voltage all right so we'll take out the probes once again and we will move on to the next switch so now the next option that we have is voltage which is DC you can see the steady line on the top of the voltage part which is a steady line which shows us DC voltage now this mode is used to measure DC or direct current voltage you can check that there is no hard option on this mode because you see this is hearts option HZ this is nowhere mentioned on the DC voltage it is because this mode is for measuring the DC and there is no frequency as the current directly flows. There is no frequency as such. So the current has to continuously flow in the single direction. Now you can see when I switch to the DC mode, it shows V for voltage and underneath DC, which means DC voltage is what we are checking. Now this type of mode is most commonly used where we have DC voltage such as PLC equipments or solenoid supplies where the equipment is battery power packed or in signal applications such as most commonly used are 4 to 20 milliamp transmitters loop for analog signals and also in digital signals where the equipment is looking for voltage to be present or not and to determine the input state. So the most common DC voltage that we see in our daily life onboard ships are 5 volt, 12 volt, 24 volts, 110 volt DC supplies. So in this case, in order to check the DC voltage, we have to bring the selector switch to this mode and to connect the probes once again. Now in this mode as well, the black probe will come to the common point and the red probe shall come to the V port. Now once you connect the probes, you can see the values after connecting it to the terminals, you will see the screen the value of the DC voltage will come on the screen. Once again, you disconnect the probes. Once your work is done, take out the probes, secure them properly, and we will move on to the next mode on the selector switch, which is this. It is millivolt voltage mode. And there's one yellow color option also. We will discuss it later part. Now, when we select this mode with the help of the selector switch, you will see on the screen, it is MV millivolt slash AC underneath it is mentioned. Now, this type of modes are exclusively used for signal measurements. Most common on board ship is the thermocouple example. Everybody must have seen thermocouples. You can see it on the incinerators. You can see it on the boilers. 
that will give us a milli or a micro volt reading depending on the temperature of the probe so the now you shift the button if you see the shift button will give you the function of measuring dc millivolt now when i say if you shift means this is a steady line if you can see on the screen and this is the wavy line we discussed earlier in the ac section now when with the help of the dc line if you press this yellow button you will get the function of measuring dc millivolt in order to do that the selector switch has to be in the millivolt voltage mode you connect the probes the way we discussed black probe should come to the common port like this the red probe will definitely come to the volt port now when we are checking the voltage mode if you see there's an option v is for resistance ohm continuity so all these things should come red part should come in the this port specifically because sometimes polarity is required and in this case the polarity is required so we cannot interchange them in some cases we can interchange the ports as well now you see we have to learn about the next port which is number four is the auto volt selection now we will do it in the voltage section as well so we will slowly shift towards the auto voltage selection mode now this one is the auto voltage selection mode now this part will give the multimeter the ability to automatically detect the voltage type and change the units accordingly so in order to be not sure if you're not sure whether the voltage supplied is ac or it is a dc supply so simply you turn the selector switch towards this auto voltage selector switch mode and you connect the probes accordingly as this is also a voltage mode so you connect the black probe to the common red probe to the voltage section and you connect the probes and to the switch and you will get your voltage if it is your dc voltage it will come something like this v underneath dc and if it is a ac voltage it will come something like v underneath ac so this is the voltage mode we have just now studied now the fifth mode with the voltage on this specific multimeter is the voltage alert mode underneath the bottom you can see here the voltage alert mode now when we switch the selector switch to the voltage alert mode slowly all right now this is the last voltage measuring mode called as voltage alert mode in this mode meter can detect the ac voltage without the use of these test probes so what we can do is we can detect the voltage we cannot measure we can detect the voltage without the use of these probes just place the multimeter top part near the live conductor for example this is a live conductor you bring the multimeter to near this live conductor if the voltage is there the meter will light up and a beep sound will come so for example this is a live conductor you bring the multimeter near the live conductor suddenly it will bring a sound it will beep and it will light up so you will have like uh, you will have the precaution or you can just check the live voltage with the help of this volt meter option now very important thing to consider is always dead this circuit so you do not just rely on this mode for your safety because it may or it may not work although fluke multimeters are the best of the best but sometimes if it does not works you cannot risk your life so always be careful while worth working with the electricity always wear proper ppe always dead the circuit but in case if you wish you can just check the live voltage with the help of the volt alert mode by bringing the selector switch to this mode and the stop of the part bring the near the live conductor so you see in the multimeter there is something written as volt alert because of this reason i bought this specific multimeter because you don't have to actually connect the probes every single time and to check whether the voltage is there or it's not there so this is the main function of this volt alert mode now let's go and learn something important about the resistance mode now which is the most common used one now you see this 
Now this right here is the symbol of the ohm. The ohm is the unit of the resistance. So we measure the resistance by bringing the selector switch towards this mode. Now we can also measure the resistance with the help of the multimeter with this one. So the resistance is now measured in ohms. So resistance, what is a resistance? Now resistance means the amount of the restriction to the flow of the electricity by the name itself. So the easier the current flows through the conductor, the lower will be the resistance as simple as that. I'll repeat it once again. The easier the current flows through a conductor, the lower will be the resistance. And to understand this, I will give you a small example. Now, for example, there's a very long but a small diameter cable. It will have a high resistance as compared to a short, short lengthed, a bigger diameter cable will have a low resistance. So we use basically this mode to measure the resistance of a point to point signal, power cables, relays, solenoid cable resistances. We can check it with the resistance between the earth and the bonding straps. You can check it for the testing of the fuses. You have to connect the probes in the order as now the black probe. The black probe should come and connect it to the common port. The red one should come to the ohm connection. Now the ohm connection is also on the right side of the multimeter red port. So you connect this and the other two ends to the terminal and you will get the resistance. Now, if you want to test, if you want to test, you see this is OL means open circuit. Now, if you want to see the probes, whether they are working or not, we can always perform a quick test. Now, in order to check over the probes, fuses have not blown, we can do a quick continuity test. 